What's going on? It is time for Core Kids Revival TV, and I'm so glad that you are joining me today because we are going to talk about a very touchy subject, and it is about fear of the dark and breaking free of nightmares. Ooh, this one. This one is needed, but I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We do this every Saturday, every Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have been in revival here in the Core Kids since last year. We've seen massive moves of God amongst our kids, and it is powerful. I want to give you a couple announcements. First announcement is we now have these amazing Core Kids workbooks, printable workbooks. You just print it out, and you can do all the little worksheets. This one was on breaking free of depression. And it is super cool. We even have, if I open it up right, help me somebody, um, pages for you to color in, interactive workbook pages, prayers, journal pages, color pages, everything. So make sure that you get each one of our workbooks and we have them for every episode now. Wow, that's amazing. Also, we are coming up on our Core Kids Revival Summer Camp this summer in Orlando, Florida, and I'm assuming that you're coming because we've extended the age out. Now it is ages five to 16, and so the sign up for that is for those that are in our Core Kids Mentorship Program. If you're not in our mentorship program yet, there's a link right there at the bottom. Make sure your parent signs up. Mom or dad has to be in the core group and then they can get you into your mentorship group. We have it for teens and we have it for kids. My next announcement is, do you know that we actually have core kid gear? You can get your core kid t-shirt or your core group. Core, we have core warrior in training tee and we just have a lot of cool tees for the kids. So if you wanna be rocking in style when you come to the summer camp or any of our retreats or core meetups, make sure that you got your core kid t-shirts. All right, I'm gonna stop the announcements for now and get right into today's subject. Does everybody have their sword? Awesome, wow, proud of you guys. You came ready with your sword. Gotta have a Bible. You have to use it every single day. How many of you have been reading your Bible more? How many of you have actually got a Bible for the first time and you're like, wow, this is pretty cool? Amen, that's exciting. And if not, it's okay. You can start today. But today we're gonna talk about fear of the dark and nightmares. This is a real serious thing that kids and teenagers, and I'm gonna tell you another secret you probably don't know, and adults, yeah, I said adults, are dealing with being afraid of the dark. So here it is, you've had a great day, you're going through your day, everything's wonderful, and you had dinner with your family, you had school, you had all that, and it's getting a little dark outside, and now it's time for nighttime. It's time to go to bed been doing this ever since the day that you were born you've gone to bed every single day but you all of a sudden your stomach is hurting you're getting nervous you're not happy anymore because you've been struggling with fear of the dark and tormenting thoughts in your mind and nightmares and so instead of sleep being a calm peaceful wonderful time to relax it's a stressed out time for you. How many of you watching right now have ever dealt with dealing with nightmares, night terrors, fear of the dark, thinking things are under your bed, shadows in the room, all of these things, right? If you've been dealing with that, today I believe that God wants to set you free. You can be free from that. You don't have to be bogged down and burdened with fear of the dark. I want to read you um, a scripture, and this comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24 and 25, and it says, you will sleep like a baby, and you'll be safe and sound, 
and your rest will be sweet and secure. You will not be subject to terror or will it terrify you? That's the word of the Lord for your dreams. I used to deal with fear so bad. Listen to my testimony. When I was young, I had a spirit of fear come into my life. And a lot of it was from the things that I was watching on TV. I remember watching horror movies and all this stuff. And fear came into my life. The spirit of fear, the Bible says, that's what it is. And when it was time for me to go to bed, I was so terrified. Everybody listening. I was so terrified, scared, my heart was racing. I literally was clenching onto the blanket for dear life. And if I had to go to the bathroom, I was so scared that I wouldn't even get up to go to the bathroom because I thought if my feet touch the floor, something's gonna get me. And it made me stay in my bed. And that is why when I was a young girl, I actually used to wet the bed. It wasn't because I was just lazy and didn't want to get up. I was literally tormented by fear. It was like fear was pushing me in the bed and not letting me up. That is a prison. And if you're dealing with that, it's nothing to be ashamed of. That's why I'm telling my testimony right now. I'm not ashamed to tell you that because I know it's going to help somebody. I was so afraid of the dark. The devil would lie to me and say, something's in your closet. It's going to come out and get you. Something's here, something's under the bed, something's gonna reach up. If you go to sleep, you're gonna have a nightmare. You're not gonna be able to get out of it. It was just nonstop. Why? Because the Bible says, listen, God has not given you a spirit of fear because fear has torment. It says that fear is torment. And so God has not given us a spirit of fear. And But he says that perfect love drives out fear because we don't need that torment in our life. The love of God is going to break fear out of your mind. My own daughter was dealing with fear when she was a young girl. And we had to walk her through her room and she would say, something's in the closet. We would open that closet up and we would go in there and pray and anoint it, show her all the clothes and show, say, no, there's nothing in here. And when we close this door, this door is gonna be sealed and covered by the blood of Jesus and there's an angel that is standing guard here protecting you while you're sleeping. And it's the same for you. You don't have to be afraid of the different things that you think are gonna happen. Nothing is gonna happen. You are going to be at peace. You're gonna sleep just fine. And here's some tips that I wanna give you for taking authority even in your dreams. Now I know you're probably thinking, I don't have control of my dreams. I go to sleep and it's like, how can I say anything? How can I do anything? I'm not in control. But listen, when you start getting into your word every single day and you start learning your authority in Jesus, you can take authority even in your dreams. I've done it. I have done it. I remember I'd have so many nightmares. I couldn't do anything. I'd go to save Jesus and I was like, oh, I was stuck. I'd go to run away and I was like, I went so slow. I would be falling and, and I would wake up feeling like I was still falling. And then I remember being able to say the name of Jesus in my dreams. And when the enemy would try to come with a nightmare, I remember in my dream, I would stand up and say, Jesus! And it would end like that. And wake up being like, yeah, that's right. Jesus, the name of Jesus. And I wouldn't have any fear. And I would go right back to sleep. And I would just be like, I'm going to be at peace because the Bible says I can be safe, secure, sound, and sleep like a baby and nothing will terrify me. And so I want you to believe that today. Here are some tips for getting fear of the dark, fear of what's under the bed, fear of the nightmares out of your life for good. Before you go to sleep, plain, soft, quiet worship music beautiful worship music and it sets the atmosphere. Demons don't want to be around an atmosphere where everyone's worshiping, praising, and praying. They hate that. 
So you're going to get the atmosphere where it is lifting up the name of Jesus and pushing out the darkness. Right? So play worship music. Read scriptures before bed. One scripture that I love is Psalm 91. So you can just go to Psalm 91. Let's see it right now. You ready? So I'm going to Psalm 91. And you can just start reading it out loud. Uh, and here it says right here. When you abide under the shadow of the Almighty, you're hidden in the strength of God the most high. He is my hope. He holds, he holds me and he is the stronghold. He shelters me. And you just read that whole thing and, and you'll just feel better because the word works. Somebody's telling your neighbor, say the word works and demons hate the word. So read scriptures before bed. Say, I don't have a spirit of fear, but I have a spirit of power and love and of a sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, I want you to get some anointing oil. If you have any anointing oil, get some anointing oil and pray. Pray and anoint your room. You take some anointing oil out, like the Bible tells us to do. You can anoint yourself. Anoint your head and your mind in the name of Jesus. I anoint my mind. I just thank you, Lord, that you told us in your word to anoint ourselves with oil. So I anoint myself with oil. Anoint your pillow. You can anoint your blankets. You can anoint the house. You can anoint your doors, your windows, your whatever. And it is going to make a difference in your life. Also, one thing that you can do is take authority over your mind. Do it right now. Lay hands on your mind right now and take authority over your mind. And you can say, I take authority over my mind in the name of Jesus. I say that I will not be tormented. I will not have fear. I will not be afraid of the dark. I will not be afraid of nightmares. I have peace in Jesus mighty name. You do that over yourself. You don't need me to do it over you. You have the power within you and you're getting stronger by the day. All right. And so those are my tips. Play the music, anoint yourself, take authority, read the scriptures, go through the room, bless it, and just know that you have the power through God to not be afraid of the dark and to not have nightmares anymore from this day forward. Why don't you stretch your hands towards the screen as I feel the Lord touching you right now. You've been dealing with this for a while, but God is setting you free right now. Come on, stretch your hands forward. There you go. Perfect, perfect. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that you are touching each and every person that is watching right now that has been dealing with nightmares that has been dealing with being afraid of the dark i pray god that you will touch them in such a mighty way right now i break off fear in jesus mighty name i break off torment of the mind in jesus name all of those lies from the enemy that things are coming to get them that things are under the bed that there are shadows and there are demons and there are all kinds we break that now in jesus name and we say from this day forward there shall be peace in your mind in jesus mighty name you are no longer afraid of the dark you are no longer plagued with nightmares but you are set free and whom the son has set free is free indeed in jesus mighty name and everybody that believes that why don't you shout really loud amen and amen all right awesome i'm proud of you guys Whoa, oh, oh, and by the way this anointing oil smells Smells good. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I smell good. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you some really cool things at the end of this video. And if you have anything that you want to send in to me, please send it in to me. Show me your videos. I love seeing it. I love that you guys are on my Core Kids Mentorship Group app and you're sharing all your videos, and we're in there doing Bible studies and prayer calls. Keep sharing, but if you want to send it in here, send it into TV at gmail.com. And I will see you for the next Core Kids Revival TV. Bye, everybody. Love ya.
like he said, we need the word. Um, so I have this word Bible, and I learned this verse through 17, 17, Matthew 17 through 20. For truly, you, I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So I got a testimony to share. So one day when I was at my uncle's house, I was playing his VR, and they have this game. It's called Blade and Sorcery. I was playing it. You could just, I don't want to say it for some little kids, but it's like, it's a game where you kill people and it's very brutal. And sorcery is witchcraft. I didn't know that until I watched the witchcraft part one video. And my parents told me and I did not know. So I, I, Ike's got to forgive me and I repented.